there, Nancy Drew. Hi, Deirdre. Are you in Colorado by any chance? Yes. How did you know? Some friend of my dad's called me for a reference for you. And you gave him a good reference? Well, I told him the truth. That was very nice of you. Was it? By the way, don't make a habit of it. Okay? Bye. Wait, hang on a sec. I might need some outside help with this case. <sighs> Did you forget that I don't like you? No, but I know you're studying criminology, and maybe someday I could help you out. Oh, a non-specific promise with the word someday. Sounds too tempting to ignore. Yet, here I go. What's up? Who do you think killed Nico? A little part of me thinks it's Gray. Why? I'm a little scared of him. <sighs> me too. You and me are terror twins. Those two had a strange relationship. They fought constantly, not sure why. The part that was responsible for Nico's death is missing. Do you know where it went? No. Are you sure? You sound like you're not telling me something. I destroyed it. It's gone. Why destroy it? Because I made it! You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please! Hey. Who do you see on an average day? Just me. Sometimes Ryan. You ask a lot of questions. Ever thought of being a scientist? Mm, sometimes. Good answer. The world needs more people with questions, and fewer people who are sure they have the answers. Did you see? I beat your high score. Yes. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu compels me to take you down. Prepare yourself, opponent. Do you like Ryan? Let me save you some time. I don't like anyone. That can't be true. Observe, and I'll demonstrate. Other people. What do you think of Ellie? She hates me so much that she switched to the night shift. Come to think of it, she hates me so much I should actually feel a sense of accomplishment, which I now do. There it is. What did you do that she dislikes you so much? Why do you assume it was me? I took an educated guess. I did too. Still couldn't figure it out. But the fact remains, we are not besties, as she likes to say. We are worsties. Can you tell me a little bit about Gray? He always gives me an industrial-sized portion of the creeps. The only person who ever liked Gray was Nico, and I think he just liked keeping Gray around to scare everyone away from his work. Did he try to scare you away from Nico's work? No. He tried to scare me away from my own work. What does that mean? He was Nico's heavy. I figured he'd leave once the police gave the all clear. Trust me, if he's still here, he's up to something. Your boss would be smart to get rid of him. What was Nico working on before he died? There wasn't a name for it yet, officially. It was basically wireless energy transfer. That was helpful for you. So how about you tell me something about your boss? I'm sorry, I can't. Confidential. What are you doing? I want you to tell me what you know, but I can't tell if you're a pushover or not. Not. Ah, efficiency. One of the rare graces of a post manor society. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Frank was just talking about you. Oh, yeah? Is that so? Just recounting the time. So, how are you? How's Colorado? Sciency. Awesome. Not bad. I want to catch you up on the case. Give us the deets. Joe, there's already a word that means what you're trying to say. Frank, it's a language, not a museum. Tear down the velvet rope standing in the way of your word imagination. <sighs> Joe. Sorry, Nancy. Please go ahead. I was called in to solve a cold case murder. Whoa, a murder? I am flabber worried. Isn't that a little on the dangerous side? It might be. I wish we could be there to help. Where are you? We're on a submarine. Well, currently it's a boat, but intermittently it's a submarine. What are you doing on a submarine? It's sort of a long story, and we're still putting the pieces together. Not gonna lie, Nancy, it's some pretty sweet stuff. Crime syndicates, pirate treasure, and there's some talk of pirate ghosts. But no confirmations as of yet. But fingers crossed. More importantly, tell us about you. Okay, here's the full scoop. Victor, the lab owner, called me in to help solve a cold case. Why did he call you? Isn't this a job for the police? It well, that's the thing. The police hit a dead end, and Nico, the researcher who was killed, all of his papers were put into evidence. And they stay in evidence until the case is closed, right? Exactly. What makes the papers so important? Apparently, Nico was very close to making his research public. The research was supposedly going to revolutionize the way power is created and delivered in this country. Well, the world, really. Victor wants the papers released before anyone else connects the dots. If it's such a big deal, how come he didn't go to some big private eye or something? Joe, probably because Nancy's got a very well-deserved reputation of being the best there is. I'm sorry, Nancy. I didn't mean it that way. It just seems like a really big job. I thought the same thing, trust me. But he thinks because of my age, no one will suspect I'm undercover. <clears throat> I hope he's right. Oh, undercover. That makes sense. Cool. Keep us up to date. We'll do everything we can to help. I just saw a really cool Tesla coil demo. You just said the one thing that could make me wish I wasn't on a submarine. I agree. I've always wanted to see one up close. It was really impressive. They're definitely on the dangerous side. Not really. Well, they can be if they're wired up wrong, but overall they're pretty safe. Do you know much about Tesla coils? Are you kidding? I'm the biggest Nikola Tesla fan in the world. I think. It might be a tie. I'll allow that. I met Mason. What's Mason like? Cold and detached. That's a reassuring pair of personality traits. He sounds a little textbook. See if you can get a reaction out of him somehow. I met the whole crew. Now the work begins. There are some intelligence guys here who owe us a favor. We'll see if anyone's got a pass they're hiding. F I met Gray. What's his story? He doesn't seem like a people person. As person people, Frank and I disapprove. Keep an eye on him. I didn't know you two were Tesla fans. Tesla was like a real-life wizard. Well, his contributions to the scientific community are the most boring things to talk about when it comes to Tesla, Frank. He carried around an earthquake machine and built death rays. That stuff is probably blown out of proportion. I will not have you in boring Tesla, Frank. He was one of the few scientists who truly valued crazy giant lightning storms. When he was bored, he and Mark Twain would take turns electrocuting themselves. I mean, come on! The flashy stuff is cool, Joe, but what really impresses me is how all of these seemingly crazy things he dreamed up are now being proven to be actually possible. Like wireless energy. Yeah, and harvesting energy from space and the Earth itself. Wait, is that what Nico was working on? I don't know all of the details exactly, but it seems like it. Amazing! I met Ryan. So, what's his story? Her. Okay, hang on. Adjusting mental image, removing mustache, change haircut and shoes, done. Wait, adding hat. Okay, done for real. So what's her story? She's the one who made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. That's serious. But if she wasn't arrested, there must be some doubt. Some, but Victor really thinks she might be the one. Does she seem like a cold-blooded killer? No. Then keep a close eye on her. Don't forget, your safety is more important than solving the case. I met Ellie. The verdict? She's nice, a little quiet. Isn't that what the neighbors always say on the news after someone goes berserk? She seems 
so quiet. Says the loudest person I've ever met. Sometimes people are just quiet. Goodbye. Bye. Victor here. Can you tell me a little bit about Ellie? She's got that small town girl act down pat. I guess I just can't tell who she really is. Mason says Nico was stealing from him. Is this true? No, because the work isn't Mason's to begin with. It's a little troubling that he views it that way. How did you hear about me? Through a close friend. You've impressed a lot of people, Nancy. You seem pretty sure Ryan's the one who killed Nico. That's because she did. She made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. And confidentially, the police told me they're almost certain it's her. They just don't have enough evidence to get a conviction. This is your case, but don't let Ryan's buddy act fool you. She's not who she seems. What do you think of Mason? Smart kid. Don't know much about him. Why did you hire me and not a big investigation firm? The crew has been questioned a lot as you can imagine. Everyone's defenses are up. You can pull off the undercover work without drawing too much suspicion. I know it's a long shot, but I've heard good things. And... I already tried the by-the-book way, and that got me nowhere. Can you tell me anything about Gray? I don't know much about him. He was one of Nico's hires. Nico brought Gray on? Yes, I have no idea why. He's a head case. Watch yourself around him. Understand? Do you think Gray could have killed Nico? I don't know if he did, but I don't doubt he could have. Between you and me, if I didn't want him here to be investigated, I would have fired him immediately. Do not tell him that. I don't know how he might react. It could be really ugly. Can you tell me a little bit about Nico? He was an amazing scientist. Years ahead of his time. How long have you worked together? Decades. Did you spend any time together outside of work? I don't know if there was much outside of work for Nico. So, no. Bye. Bye. Hi. Victor mentioned you were arrested the night Nico died. Yes, I was. What happened? It's not a night I like remembering. I understand. No need to go into it. Thanks. It was a bad night. Worst I ever had. They dropped me in a room and asked me a hundred times if I killed Nico. That must have been hard. The questions kept coming faster and faster until I had a hard time remembering what was even true anymore. Then it was over. The older one drove me home told me they'd be back the second they could prove it was me. Made it hard to sleep at night. What evidence did they have? They wouldn't say. It was like they were waiting for me to tell them why they thought I was guilty. I'm kind of wondering the same thing myself. I don't think you're telling me the full story. What do you want? Something. Do you have anything that can prove that you didn't kill him on purpose? No. Yes? What happened on the night of the murder? Can you not say it like that, please? I'm sorry, I don't know if there is a better way to ask about something like this, but I do really need to know. I know, you're right. He talked to me. More than once. I'm not sure I understand. He didn't talk to most people. I think he liked me. Or at least trusted me. You still haven't told me about what happened that night. We lost one of science's brightest minds for a stupid reason I don't understand. That's all I can say. Can you tell me about what happened with the equipment you built for Nico? It worked exactly as it was supposed to. Tesla coils are not supposed to be wired like the one you built for Nico. It's extremely dangerous. You don't have to tell me that. I know. I knew. He told me that's what he wanted. I don't understand why he would want you to build something so deadly. I didn't either. He said he was going to do it with or without me. I just figured that if I did what he wanted perfectly, it'd be better than if he got help from somebody else. In the end, your machine is what killed him. No, 
Yes, but... But what? I didn't. I would never hurt anyone. Especially not Nico. Why? What made him special? Because... He was brilliant. He could look at a blueprint and know the finished product's personality. And he had no one in the world looking after him. Goodbye. Bye. My favorite buddy. What do you want, Deirdre? What do I want? This is about what you want, Nancy Drew. Is that so? It cannot be more so. I come bearing apologies. I want to help you, Nancy Drew. I want to be your girl on the inside of the exciting world of criminology. Why the sudden change of heart? Because apparently it still counts as plagiarism if you pay someone to write your paper. I mean... Is capitalism dead? Because that's what it seems like. And you want to help me because... I made a bargain with my prof. If I can help an actual murder investigation, I'll get credit. So I help you, you help me collect data for my paper, and balance is restored to the universe. How exactly can you help me? I've got permission to use our criminal database. In fact, I already read up on the case. That could come in handy. All right, it's a deal. Great. Call when you need help, and I'll do what I can. Just don't call me when I'm busy. Will do. What do you know about surveillance video? That you watch it. Have you heard of cases where the video has been faked? Oh, yeah. All the time. How can you tell if the video's been edited in some way? It's getting harder and harder to tell. But the number one thing you need to do is to make sure that you've got the original video feed. If you don't, analyzing the data file isn't going to do you much good. Is there a way to know if I have the original? Yeah, that's the detective part. Not in my wheelhouse. Ryan told me she was interviewed by the police and that she's still considered the prime suspect. Okay. Is that common in murder investigations? It can be. The police have to be fairly certain before they can charge her. But usually it means that they're missing a piece or two of their case, and they're just waiting for the suspect to slip up. But she just doesn't seem the type. The truth is, there isn't a type. Most killers aren't like what you see on television. They're not like mustache twirly or anything. They're usually scared. They've convinced themselves there's no other way out of whatever mess they've gotten themselves into. My prof always says there's no place for feelings in a murder investigation. There's only alibi, evidence, and motive. And right now, Ryan's coming in as a heavy favorite. You read up on the case, right? I don't understand why Ryan was under so much scrutiny, but never sent to trial. From what I gathered, something didn't add up with the video and the timeline. Someone had to be in the lab with Nico. Otherwise, he'd still be here today. So, if her alibi stands up, it couldn't be her. Exactly. Unless there's something big I'm missing. Something's weird about this whole thing. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Figure this out. I asked her about the night of the murder. She was pretty much mute. I'm undercover here. I can't push too hard. Can you see what you can find on your end? I'll see what I can find. All I've got is the database. Don't expect any miracles. What do you want? What do you think of Ellie? What did you say all these questions were for again? I'm gathering information for a potential new owner. Your questions say different. Say you're lying. I'm just very thorough. Then leave me alone. Thoroughly alone. Again? What? What was your relationship with Nico? I knew him. Same as anyone else here. I don't buy that. 
Victor told me he was instrumental in getting you this job. Could be true. Strange world. Crazier things. Who was here the night of the murder? I was. Who else? Ellie and... And who? Computers say someone, but the cameras say no one else. Nico walks in that door alone every time I watch the tape. How many times have you watched the footage? Don't know. Lots. Why? It's my job. You mentioned re-watching the video. Do you think something is hidden there? Not hidden. Missing. What's missing? It's not a what, it's a who. I don't understand. Who are you looking for? Nico's killer. Did Nico's work put him in any danger? Yes. Energy is power. Ultimate power. Why would that put him in danger? People who want power will not hesitate to get what they want. Do you blame Ryan for what happened to Nico? Yes. Do you think she tampered with the machine on purpose? Am I supposed to feel better if it's an accident? You and Nico were friends, weren't you? Friends? Yes. I guess that doesn't matter now, does it? I'd still like to know. Fine. Then just give me a break. All right, champ? Fair enough. There was a time when we were friends. When was that? Back when he was alive. Now beat it. Give me some empty space to stare through. The log says that one additional person entered the lab the night Nico died. I know. The question is, how do you know? Police report. What I don't understand is why the police didn't follow up on it. They did. Said it was a glitch. Do you believe that? What's it matter what I believe? It only matters what they believe. Bye. Bye. Oh, Nancy, what's up? How bad are relations between you and Mason? I wouldn't say they're bad. You might be the only one who wouldn't. They're not great. I get the impression that you two hate each other. My gram raised me to look for the good in everyone, even those who do me harm. Most times I find that glimmer of good even in the meanest people. But Mason flashes that smug smile of his, and every rage center of my brain releases all of its hate Mason chemicals. Wish that weren't the truth, but it is. I also get the impression Mason doesn't like you very much. Now that is fortunate. If I had to deal with him puppy-dogging all around all the time, I'd never get anything done. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nancy.
Hey, Nancy. Deirdre's decided to help me out. What's in it for her? A passing grade. Ah, oh, lucky. I wonder who her teacher is. I foiled three art heists, and did that help my art history grade? No. No, it did not. Rescue is stolen Vermeer, yet you still get a C. Any word on the background of the crew here? Funny thing you ask. Yeah, sort of. Nico has a file, but it's classified. Surprisingly, so does Gray. But we don't know what's in there. Interesting. But Nancy, you can't tell anyone. I had to sort of bend the rules. Mason and Ellie seem to hate each other. On a scale of one to standoff? They're on opposite shifts to avoid one another. Interesting. That might come in handy. Goodbye. Bye. Whoa. Ryan should never have been released. Better follow up on this. She's bypassing the security system. Get out of there! Thank you.
was that? What do you want? I'll let you go. Bye. She's bypassing the security system. Interesting. Did that. That doesn't sound good. Ellie might want to know about this. Hi. Is the hall just outside the lab supposed to hum? Nope. I need to find a way to play this. Could be useful. Did that. I need to find a way to fix this. Are you okay? I'll never be okay again! What is that thing? An abomination of technology! It's some creepy robotic cat that someone, I suspect Mason, is tormenting me by leaving all of its awful parts everywhere! I've seen one of those before. If I find all of the pieces, I bet I could put it together. As long as you promise to throw it into a fiery volcano once it's completed! That thing is the undisputed mayor of Nightmare Town. Do you know how I can play a media card? Yeah, Nico's personal player. 
I meant to fix it earlier. Get me some Coco Mallows from Nico's office, and I'll have it working for you. From the candy machine? How exactly does that thing work? Here, this should do the trick. Thanks. You snuck in without logging in the day before the murder. Why? I... I lost my key. It happens. Isn't this place extremely well secured? The labs are... Building... I have my tricks. And no, I'm not sharing. Goodbye. Bye. Looks like a memory lock. Great, just what Ryan wanted. Hi! Here's the candy bar you wanted. Great! I'll start fixing it right now. Did that. It's Wednesday. I've clocked 49 hours of work this week. I found another note from Ryan on my door this morning. This time a threat. She continues to surprise. She's smarter than she looks. And then later she confronted me by the couch in the lounge and handed me another of her threats. I didn't bother taking it with me. The coil as is, it's little more than a plaything. I can't get the proper flow using the original design. I've got schematics drawn up for an entirely new prototype, but maybe that step isn't necessary. The math is solid, and the small-scale experiments are running at an efficiency of about 80%, and that's using the old design. I checked in on Mason's work today, he has the strangest attraction to exactly the work I'd most like him to avoid. I'm starting to question if he knows what he's toying with. I've made my message to him clear, yet he keeps going back to the rough materials application portion of the process. Perhaps it's time Gray tightens up the network to keep him in line. Maybe it's time to replace him. He's been less of an asset than I expected anyway. I'm finding myself spending more and more time down in my study in a state somewhere near sleep. Viewing the schematics in my mind, looking for flaws, doesn't make sense that I'm finding none.
That's done. What's up? Goodbye. Bye. Victor here. Did you know about Nico's diaries? I knew he kept audio notes in his office. He had a player there. No clue how it works. Goodbye. Bye.